Livestock Production Tools. We got here just in time. Ngombe is getting milked. What tools are needed for milking? First, we need a clean and sterilized milking bucket to catch the milk. And a stool would be comfortable to sit on. So you can just drink the milk from the bucket? <laughs> you can, but I would highly recommend putting it through the milk strainer first. This helps ensure the hair and other particles are removed. After this, the milk gets put in the churn, which holds and stores the milk. Mm -hmm. And this is where I get milk for my tea. What about that other cup and scale? That is the strip cup. It determines whether the cow has mastitis or not by testing the first drops of milk in it first. Mm -hmm. Any weird discoloration or clots signal the cow is sick and should not be used for consumption. Mm. The scale helps as a record and measure the amount each cow produces by weighing the milking bucket. Sick? How do you help the animal get better? So we have the drenching gun and the bolus gun which help administer needed drugs to the animal. Mm. Now other equipment that help administer drugs to the animal are hypodermic needle and syringe. A startup pump sprays for ticks that cause sicknesses, while the thermometer takes the temperature of the animal. Like when mom takes mine. Mm -hmm. If it's too high or low, she gets worried. Same for animals. The truck and cannula help treat an animal if they are becoming too bloated with gas, which could cause death. It pierces the rumen, which is the main stomach, to break down grass and release the buildup of gas. How would you be able to poke the animal? I know I would kick if someone tried to stab me. <laughs> there are different ways to control an animal. The rope is needed to tie or restrain the animal. It is usually attached to a halter. This is a special type of rope that is tied around the head of the animal for better control. Mm -hmm. The bull ring and lead stick is for the bulls and oxen and is a big nose piercing for the animal allowing control. Mm. The stick is attached to the ring to allow safe distance and control while moving it. How can you keep animals in order and lower risk of being hurt by them? Good question. Identification is important to distinguish animals, sick or healthy. The honing is important to make sure the animals don't hurt humans or other animals with their sharp horns. Mm -hmm. The honing wire and the honing iron help take off the horns. An ear notcher gives animals a piercing which helps identify them with a number. Do they need pruning like the plants do? Well, a healthy animal does need proper cosmetic treatment, although it is not called pruning. Wool shears are used to give sheep a haircut and give us they are wool. The hoof cutter essentially give the cows a pedicure, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Damaged hooves are very dangerous for livestock. I don't know if I want to know, <laughs> but what are all those sharp items over there for? The badizo, illustrator, and scalpel are all used for castration of the bulls. I knew I didn't want to know. <laughs> Shh, or I will use them on you. Now, Real quick before we leave the pens. The chaff cutters help cut feed into smaller bits for the animal to eat. The hand room is very important for cleaning the pen. I know what a broom does, Mze. Then why so bad at cleaning? It is very important when dealing with these tools and equipment that they are cleaned after every use. The milking equipment and syringes need to be properly sterilized and disinfected. Not doing so could endanger and infect the whole farm. And all the tools need to be put away properly after being cleaned. Correct. I think we are done here. Come with me to my workshop. 
I want to show you what I've been working on. Okay.